Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone and welcome to the class once again. We are towards the end of our course now and we are revising what we did in the 12 weeks here in the lectures. So now last time we did a kaiva through which we revised all our um, expressions. This week again through the kaiva we will do grammar. So let us see what we have today now. This is a kaiva between two people Tanaka san and Rao san. Listen to it carefully and note down all the grammar that we have to do, all the grammar that you can understand and then I will tell you all of it in detail later. So, Rao san wa itsu nihon ni kimashita ka? Kyonen no sangatsu ni kimashita? Nihon de nani o shite imasu ka? Benkyou ga owatta kara ima kaisha de hataraite imasu. Yasumi no toki nani o shimasu ka? Daitai yukkuri shimasu. Demo kondo no yasumi ni yaki o mi ni ikitai desu. Yaki o ga suki desu ka? Dai suki desu. Demo mada yoku wakarimasen. Ja, shumatsu ni futari de yaki o mi ni ikimashou. Soko de yaki o nitsuite iron na setsume o shite agemasu. Waza waza arigato gozaimashita. This was a simple kaiva and I will do the explanation now. There are a lot of new things here. For example, you have owatta, past form of the verb, kara. Then you have ikitai, mini is another verb form. Yasumi no toki, you have done this form and we will revise this. Then there is yoku, then ni tsuite and waza waza one new word. So let us see what we have here. Of course, this is in your script. All of you who will be appearing for JLPT N5 will require to practice the script. So please, there is kanji for you, there is hiragana and you can practice all of it at home. So now in our kaiva, in the beginning we had owatta kara. So the verb is in past form plus kara. What does it mean? That the action is over. With kara, when we use verb in ta form, verb in past form, then the action has been completed. It is over. And when we use verb in te form plus kara, then it is for the future. Please keep that in mind. Over here, the work is over. Over here, the work is still not over. It is for the future we are talking. For example, benkyou ga owatte kara ega o mimashou. So let us watch a film after we complete studying. And over here, benkyou ga owatta kara ega o mimashou. Benkyo is already over, we have studied and now let us see a film. And kara over here, owatta kara. So for this action, it is already over and thus therefore because of this let us perform another activity. So kara in this form with verb gives, shows reason for the activity which is going to follow. For example, you have ima hanashi ga owatta kara kairimashou. Owatta kara. Because hanashi is over, because this is over, let us do this. So that is what kara means and before kara always plain form is going to be used. Then Ban gohan o tabeta kara nemashou. Now you have had your ban gohan, it is over, thus therefore 
because of this let us sleep. So, one action is over, this action is finished and this is what we are going to do. Then we had hatarai te imas, you have done the te imas form of the verb, verb in te form plus imas shows continuous action, action in progress, activity is still happening, activity happens over a period of time. So, verb plus te form of the verb plus imas, without the imas it has no meaning. So, please keep that in mind and I have told you that for group 2 remove the ru and put te. For example, taberu tabe te. This is how you would make the te form for group 2. Now, for group 1 you have te form for exceptions that also I have told you. So, it is ide, nde, ite, shite and te double t sound. So, these are the te forms for group 1 verbs. For example, oyoide, yonde, kaite, hanashite, matte. So, that is how you will do your te form for group 1. For group 3, it is shite and kite, kite for kuru and suru verbs. Is it all right for kuru and suru? You can see the examples now. Watashi wa ima oshiete imasu. What am I doing now? I am teaching. So, I am in this action over here of teaching. Watashi wa ima oshiete imas. This is a group 2 verb. Oshie ru. Then we have kodomo tachi wa ima asonde imas. So, you saw just now this is a group 1 verb. Aso bu, the bu is an exception, it is a verb which comes in the exceptions category and you can see I did nde over here. So, asonde imas. Other verbs in this nde form will be yomu, yomu, yonde imas. This is a group 1 verb in the exceptions category. So, te imas form which is continuous action. I am sure you are comfortable now, make some more sentences on your own and you will feel more comfortable. Then we have no toki. Now, what does no toki mean? There was a sentence in our kaiva as you can see over here no toki will follow a noun meaning at that time. So, gakusei no toki, when I was a student, kodomo no toki, when I was a child, shiken no toki, when I was writing the shiken, no toki, at that time. So, always noun is going to come before toki. You can see the um, examples here. Kodomo no toki watashi wa yoku manga wo yomimashita. Now, kodomo no toki. What does it mean? When I was a child, watashi wa I read a lot of manga. Manga is your comics and yoku means lots. Yoku is an adverb which shows quantity or degree of something, of an activity. So, yoku cannot be measured, yoku can only be felt, it cannot be measured like taksan. Taksan when you say which also means lots, taksan also means lots, but with taksan 
you can measure the thing, you can see the thing physically, but with yoku, you cannot see the thing. You can only imagine it is a degree. So, even though it means lots, it is degree of something. So, kodomo no toki watashi wa yoku manga o yomimashita. Lots manga o yomimashita. Degree can be different for different people. Now, daigaku no toki yoku eiga o mimashita. I saw a lot of movies when I was in the daigaku, in the university. As a gakse, I saw a lot of ega. Again, lots can be any amount. So, it is degree or quantity. Please keep that in mind. We will practice yoku later also as well. Then we had daitai. Daitai generally means generally speaking, most of the time, mostly. So, watashi wa daitai rokuji ni okimasu, approximately. Daitai. Over here in this case, it is approximately. Daitai. Around that time, about that time. It could be plus minus 5 minutes. Daitai rokuji ni okimasu. Sometimes maybe it is 6, 5, sometimes it is 5 minutes before 6. Tanaka san wa daitai, generally speaking, most of the time, hitori de alone. Hiru gohan o tabe mas. Tanaka san wa daitai, or daitai tanaka san wa can also be used. Daitai can come here also. Daitai tanaka san wa hitori de hiru gohan o tabe mas. Generally speaking, most of the time, mostly, approximately can also be used. Then we had yukkuri. Now, yukkuri means slowly, at ease, at leisure. So, the example you have over here is of slowly. Sumimasen, yoku wa karanai kara. You again get yoku over here. I do not understand a lot. Yoku wa karanai kara because I do not understand a lot. Yukkuri hanashite kudasai. Te kudasai. Form again, please. Verb in te form. Yukkuri. Yukkuri means slowly. Please talk slowly. Sumimasen. Yoku wa karanai kara. Yukkuri hanashite kudasai. So, this is a request. And also, it is a polite order using please. In this form, we do not ask the person. We just simply request the person to do as the speaker is saying. So, te kudasai, even though it looks like a request, it is almost an order. It is a polite order. Polite request, we could say. Sumimasen, yoku wakaranai kara because I do not know. Yukkuri hanashite kudasai. All the forms we are practicing over here again and again for you so that you understand and you know how to use them in sentences during conversation. Sumimasen, yukkuri oshiete kudasai. So, somebody is probably explaining and explaining very, very quickly. And the person who is listening or has asked for explanation cannot follow. So, he makes a polite request and says, Yukkuri, please slowly, gradually, oshiete kudasai. Please explain slowly. Again, the te kudasai form is over here. Verb in te form plus kudasai, a request. Is it all right? I hope you understand this. Te kudasai, te imas, yukkuri, kara, yoku, all these. So, over here you can give reason also for this request. Sumimasen, yoku wa karanai kara. Yoku kikoenai kara. I cannot hear very clearly. So, yukkuri oshiete kudasai. 
Now, there was demo, we have done demo in very simple sentences, it shows contrast. Watashi wa kohi wo nomimasu, demo kocha wo nomimasen. So, over here it is joining two sentences or two thoughts, but you will notice one thing with demo, even though it is a conjunction, it is a joining particle, it starts a sentence. You finish a sentence over here and then with demo you start a sentence, you begin a sentence and then you complete what you are saying. Watashi wa kohi wo nomimasu, I have coffee but kocha wo nomimasen. So, in this form this is positive and this is negative, it shows contrast. I do a certain thing and I do not do a certain thing by this conjunction, by this joining particle demo which in English translates to but. Is it all right? So, you can make a lot of sentences like this. Watashi wa nihongo ga suki desu, demo fransu go ga suki dewa arimasen. Watashi wa kyo rokuji ni okimashita, demo ashita shichiji ni okimasu. Watashi wa eiga o mimasu, demo dorama o mimasen. So, you can see over here again this is positive and this is in negative. Watashi wa eiga o mimasu, I watch films but dorama o mimasen. So, another thing you will notice over here that you have to compare similar things. Please remember not one thing from here and one thing from somewhere absolutely different without any connection. So, always in such sentences the things that you are comparing or the things that you are talking about by using demo showing contrast need to be similar. Now, we had kondo, kondo means this time, next time, the coming time. So, kondo no nichi yobi ni sensei ni ai ni ikimasen ka, kondo no nichi yobi ni, kondo no nichi yobi is the coming Sunday, nichi yobi ni, ni over here is for nichi yobi for day and sensei ni ai. So, for ai mas this ni is there and ai ni ikimas is another form which shows purpose. Is it all right? This shows your purpose of going somewhere. The ni over here is for ai mas and the ni over here is for day. So, please See this very carefully, there are three particle ni used over here. This ni is with ai ni ikimas for the purpose of. So, verb in mas form, remove the mas, put ni and iku. So, for the purpose of this activity, I am going somewhere. So, with kondo you have this particle ni and of course, this form ai ni which shows purpose. Kono aida, kono aida has nothing to do with kondo, kono aida means something that has already happened, something is in the past, something that happened in the past. Please keep that in mind and kondo means next time or the coming time. Now, we just did this in our previous slide mini. So, verb plus ni and how to make I told you verb in mas form, remove the mas, put ni and iku. Now, over here this shows purpose, indicates movement in a direction for a certain purpose. Now, you can see the examples over here. Kaimono wo shini departo e ikimasu, verb plus ni, kaimono wo shini for the purpose of doing kaimono, kaimono is shopping, 
デパートへ行きます。Now, 日本語を勉強しに学校へ行きます。日本語を勉強しに。For the purpose of 勉強 of what? 日本語学校へ行きます。So now here you will see one thing that the verb always is 行く。And this is verb plus に。You can also have noun plus に as we did in the previous slide. 先生に会いに行きます。Or 買い物。We have しに over here. We can say 買い物に。Ikimas. So you can also use it with nouns. With verb, it is verb plus ni iku. With noun, it is just ni plus iku. Now we have tameni. Tameni also shows purpose as you can see over here. But what is the difference between ta? Many and verb plus ni. What is the difference? Just now I told you in the previous slide that with verb plus ni we have iku. And if we want to use another verb, then what do we do? Because this form will only take the verb iku. So now with tame ni, we can easily use other verbs and show purpose. How is that done? Nihongo o hanasu tameni for the purpose of speaking Japanese. Benkyo o shite imas. I am studying Japanese. So now tameni will take plain verb. Form of verb. Please remember this always. Whenever you are using tameni, then the verb will be in plain form. And you can use any other verb besides ikimas. There is another example for you. Nihon jin to hanasu tame ni nihongo o naraitai desu. Nihon jin to hanasu tame ni. For the purpose of talking, speaking, nihongo o naraitai desu. I want to learn. You have another one. Nihon e. Iku tame ni nihongo o benkyo shite imas. So over here again, you will see iku is there in plain form. Nihon e iku tame ni for the purpose of going to Japan. Nihongo o benkyo shite imas. You can also add. Ima over here. Ima nihongo o benkyo shite imas. So I'm sure that your verb plus ni iku and tame ni is very very clear. Now we had another form in the kaiwa which was tai form. Now tai shows you want to do a certain activity. Always that activity you want to do. So, watashi wa nihongo o naraitai. I want to learn. Want to learn. That is, do this activity. Again, how to make this form? It is very, very simple. You have the mas form. Naraimas. Remove the mas and put tai. And the negative is naraitaku nai. As you would do for adjectives. Narai taku nai. Narai tai, remove the i over here and put kunai. For example, you have yomi tai, watashi wa shimbun, o yomi ta ku nai. So, this is how you will make it. Then, watashi wa rainen nihon e ikitai desu. Nihon E ikitai desu. So, ikimas, ikitai, and ikitaku nai. 
I do not want to go. So, you can do it like this and practice Thai form. It is very simple, something you want to do. And now, we have Hoshi, which also shows that you want something, but the difference between Hoshi and Thai is Thai form is want to do as we did just now and Hoshi is want something generally which is a noun. It could be a person, it could be a thing and Hoshi will take particle ga, noun ga Hoshi des, watashi wa kuruma ga Hoshi des. Now, you can see the example, watashi wa ningyo ga hoshi desu, I want a doll. So, it is I, first person, watashi wa ningyo ga hoshi desu, watashi wa kuruma ga hoshi desu, because I can only tell about myself, what I want. Now, when I want to ask somebody, what do you want? So, then it can be in question form. So, second person because I do not know what the person wants, I can only ask and inquire. So, Mira Sanva Ning Yoga Hoshi Desu Ka. So, you can ask a question in this form and the person could say Watashi wa Ning Yoga Hoshi Desu because the person would know what he wants. Now, you have something here which is Hoshi Gatte Imasu. Now, what is hoshigatte imasu? Hoshigatte imasu means third person wants something. You know or you have knowledge or the person has told you and thus you know that he wants a certain thing. So, how will you say that? Mira san wa ningyo o hoshigatte imasu. It comes in te form te imas hoshi garu is the verb hoshi garu and the particle used is going to be o so for third person if somebody else probably tanaka san wants something and i know of it then hoshi gatte imas please remember third person is always hoshi gatte imas first person is hoshi des Second person, you can ask a question, and third person, hoshigatte imasu. You can see over here, third person wants something, noun o hoshigatte imasu. Mariko san wa tokei o hoshigatte imasu. She wants a tokei, a watch. Now, there was something else also over there, suki. Suki means like. What is the kanji for suki? It is very simple, onna no hito and kodomo, suki. What is the particle that is going to come with suki? It is ga, particle ga. Why? Because you are stating something, you know for sure that you want this. So, watashi wa ice cream ga suki desu. Watashi wa Okaasan ga suki desu. Watashi wa nihongo ga suki desu. So, ga will come before suki, before daisuki or before kirai. Kirai means I do not like. Opposite of suki is kirai. So, all will take particle ga. We have done this earlier. Mada not yet. Then shava mada desu. Then shava mada desu. It has not come as yet. Rao san wa mada desu. Kaigi owarimashita ka? Iie mada desu. Sensei krasu ni kimashita ka? Iie mada desu. So, not yet. Yet to come. Then yoku we did just now, it shows degree, 
For example, you can see over here, yoku tabemashita, I have had lots to eat. Yoku manga o yomimashita, gakko no toki, gakusei no toki, daigaku no toki, yoku manga o yomimashita, kodomo no toki, yoku manga o yomimashita. And then, yoku no tsukai kata oshiete kodasai. Please tell me how to use yoku. So, you will see now that yoku generally comes before a verb. It can be used in the beginning also of a sentence, but generally comes before a verb. Yoku tabemashita, yoku mimashita. Yoku benkyo shimashita, yoku hatarakimashita. So, always before a verb. It shows degree of whatever the verb is saying. Now, there was another thing. Ni tsuite, noun ni tsuite, regarding the noun, pertaining to the noun, about the noun. Ni tsuite, about pertaining to, regarding someone or something as is given over here. You can see from the example, Nihon ni tsuite hanashimasu. I will talk about Japan. So, it is noun ni tsuite. It is always noun ni tsuite. Please remember that. Nihon ni tsuite, okasan ni tsuite hanashimasu, gakko ni tsuite hanashimasu. Nihongo ni tsuite hanashimasu. So, please remember noun ni tsuite about pertaining to. Hanami ni tsuite hanashite kudasai. A request that please talk about hanami. Now, you have done this agemas. When you give something to someone, when I give something to someone, it is ageru. When I get something from someone, it is morau. When I give something to someone who is senior to me, then sashi ageru and when I receive, I receive something from someone, then it is ita daku. Okay? Now, over here, it is in te agemas form, verb plus te Age ru. What does this mean? Te agemas means this form. Yatte ageru. Yatte ageru. Hanashite ageru. Hanashite ageru. I will do as the verb is saying and give it to you. Is the literal translation, but it means that I will do it for you, do it for you. That is what it means. So, well, we have tegami o kaite agemasu. I will write the tegami and give it to you or I will write the tegami for you. Wakaranai kara oshiete agemasu. As it was there in the kaiwa that you do not know about yakyu, I will tell you over there or I will tell you about baseball during the match. So, wakaranai kara, you do not understand thus, thus, therefore, oshiete agemas, I will tell you. So, this is what it means, te agemas. We have morau also later. So, for the time being, here, te agemas. I will do a certain activity for you and give it to you. Generally, when you say agemas, it is I give it to you. Is it all right? Here, someone else is telling you that I will do it and give it to you. Te agemas, yatte agemas, hanashite agemas, kaite agemas. Someone will do it for you and give it to you. There was this word te ageru, we just did in the previous slide. 
agemas, moraimas, sashi agemas, and itadakimas. It is all about I. All the time I am doing and I am receiving. Now, we did a word over here, vaza, vaza. Vaza, vaza means specially. Especially for me, it is very, very polite. Especially you are doing this for me, I am very, very grateful is what it means. Vaza, vaza is very, very polite. Then, now you have some questions here. You have heard the kaiva. You can listen to it once again and answer these questions here. Meanings of words are given over here. You can go over the meanings and do the questions. So, now I have some more revision for you, but this time there is no kaiva. There are a few pictures. We have done this earlier. You can see the pictures and try to tell me what it is. Okay, this person is washing and he says, Sentaki no tsukai kata wakarimasen. Kantan desu yo. Yatte mite kudasai. Tsukai kata. There was tsukai kata in our conversation. What does it mean? Verb plus kata. Way of doing a certain thing, way of performing a certain activity. Sentaki no tsukai kata. I do not know how to use the machine. Tsukaimasu. Tsukaimasu. Tsukaimasu is to use tsukai kata, method of using, way of using. How to use the sentaki that is the washing machine? I do not know. So, B san says, kantan desu yo, it is not so difficult. Yatte mite kudasai. Te mite kudasai. Now, you have done te mimas. Tabete mimas, verb in te form plus mimas. I will see or itte mimas, I will go and see. Tabete mite kudasai, verb in te form plus verb again in te form which is mite and kudasai, meaning please do and see what it is. Tabete mite kudasai. Itte mite kudasai, yatte mite kudasai, hanashite mite kudasai. Nihongo wa muzukashii kedo, nihonjin no mai de hanashite mite kudasai. Please talk and see, daijobu desu yo, shinpai shinai de kudasai. Then, there is another picture for you. They have, sensei has written some kanji. Kanji wa muzukashii desu. Kakemasen, I cannot write. Daijobu desu yo, minasan. Noto ni kaite kudasai, please write. Or noto ni kaite mite kudasai, please write and see in your notebook. Kanji no tsukai kata, for example, kanji no kaki kata. Sensei sumimasen, kanji no kaki kata wakarimasen. Muzukashii desu. Daijobu desu yo. Kaite mite kudasai. Kaite mite kudasai. Or, kantan desu yo. Daijobu desu yo. Ikkai kaite kudasai. Ikkai kaite mite kudasai. So, any of these could be used. Tsukai kata. Way of method of way of method of doing a certain activity. Now over here from this example, Sumimasen, Kanji no tsukai kata, Oshiete kudasai, Kanji no kaki kata. Please tell me 
how to use or how to write. You can see the uh, picture over here again. Kentaku no warai kata wa omushiroi desu. Warai kata. Verb warau. How it is made? Warai mas. Kaki mas. Sukai mas. Remove the mas from here and put kata. Warai kata, kaki kata, tsukai kata. Kentaku no warai kata wa omoshiroi desu. The way he laughs is very, very interesting. Then we have somebody cooking over here. Watashi ni to me. To over here, the meaning is to. Watashi ni naberi yori no tsukai kata wo oshiete kudasai. Please tell me naberi yori, nabe is pan. This is very, very famous way of making something in Japanese. Nabe ryori, it's cuisine in itself, a special type of cuisine which uh, the Japanese love. This is cooked on the table and everybody enjoys it while it is getting cooked. Watashi ni nabe ryori no tsukuri kata wo oshiete kudasai. So, please tell me how to make nabe ryori. Then we have some more. So, we have sensei and students over here. And what are students supposed to do? Mainichi benkyo shinakereba narimasen. So, shinakereba narimasen. This means must. And you already know that even though it is in the negative, the meaning is in positive. And there is only this shinakereba narimasen form. There is nothing as shinakereba nari mas. There is only this single form shinakereba nari masen. Ikanakereba nari masen. Yaranakereba nari masen. Uh, Nomanakereba nari masen. So there is only this nakereba nari masen form with verb. So verb plus nakereba nari masen. Only this form is there in the negative, but it means must. You have to do it. You must do it. You should do it. It's compulsory. Mainichi gakko e ikanakereba narimasen. Mainichi kaisha e ikanakereba narimasen. Mainichi hatarakanakereba narimasen. So, it is always in the negative, but meaning is positive. There is another one for you. What does okasan do? Okasan wa mainichi gohan o tsukurana kereba narimasen. Okasan wa mainichi watashi tachi no tame ni gohan o tsukurana kereba narimasen. She has to make every day for us. So, tame ni can also be used over here. So, this is how you will use nakereba narimasen. There is another kaiwa for you today. You can revise some more. I will just read the kaiwa for you. Listen to it carefully. And then there are some questions at the back. You can do the questions at home later. Bob to Rao san no kaiwa desu. Bob san wa indo de dono gurai nihongo o benkyo shimashita ka? Indo de nishukan gurai tomodachi no otou san ni oshiete moraimashita. Sore kara ima gakko de nikagetsu ni natte imasu. Honto desu ka? Jozu desu ne. Hiragana ya katakana mo naraimashita ka? Iie, kore kara jibun de benkyou suru tsumori desu. Dakara, ii hon ga hoshii desu. Sou desu ka? Watashi wa totemo ii hon ga aru kara kashite agemasu yo. Ganbatte kudasai ne. So this was a kaiwa between two people again. Rao san is learning Japanese and uh, he has done some Japanese earlier and Bob San is inquiring about that. Then Rao San is looking for a good book and Bob says, okay, I have this good book at home. I will give it to you. So, this is the gist of the kaiwa. We have dono gurai over here. 
ラオさんはインドでどのぐらい日本語を勉強しましたかどのぐらい approximately approximately how long どのぐらい日本語を勉強しましたかぐらい is approximate time or amount ラウ says インドで2週間ぐらい approximately 2週間ぐらい for two weeks 友達のお父さんに教えてもらいました So もらいました we did in the previous、uh, 会話あげませんもらいます What are the particles that are going to be used with あげませんもらいます私は友達にあげます私は友達にもらいます。And if you feel that にー is a little difficult to remember for もらいます、when you are receiving something, you can use から also。友達からもらいました。友達のお父さんに教えてもらいました。それから、this is also a joining particle means and And you can see starts a sentence. So, それから今学校で2ヶ月になっています。それから and the same thought is continuing of learning Japanese. それから今学校で Now it has been almost two months since I have been learning Japanese. Ni again for time. Gets time. Honto desu ka? Really? Is that so? Jozu desu ne. You are very, very good. Jozu means good, skilled at something. Honto means really. Is that so? Are you telling the truth? Okay. Hiragana ya katakana mo naraimashita ka? Ya is similar to to, which is And with to, you have to list everything as I told you earlier. A to, B to, C to, D to, all the things you have to list that are present. But with ya, you can pick up only a few, and the listener automatically knows that these are the two important things besides other things. Other things are also there, but the most important two things have been taken and are mentioned. And more over here means also. So, hiragana ya katakana mo naraimashita ka? And of course, we know that kanji is also there. But the person has just said for hiragana and katakana. Iye kore kara from now. Kore kara jibun de benkyo suru tsumori desu. I plan to do. I plan to do benkyo on my own. Da kara. For this reason, i hon ga hoshi desu. We just now did hoshi, which is want. So, i hon ga noun ga hoshi desu. So desu ka? Watashi wa totemo i hon ga aru kara. Kara will take plain verb. As I have told you earlier, plain verb. Kashite agemasu. I will. Lend it to you. Now, see, we did agemas earlier. Te agemas. I will do this and give it to you. So, gambatte kudasai. And you have yo over here, which shows that Bob and Rao are very, very informal. They are probably together at the university and they are friends. So, agemas, yo is used. Yo is a very informal particle. A Sentence ending particle and gambatte kudasai is work very, very hard. This is another kaiva. There are a lot of things we did. Now, we did suki, kirai. Now, in this lesson, we have jozu and heta. Heta is not there, but heta is opposite of jozu. Jozu means skilled, 
and Heta is not skilled, Suki is like and Kirai is dislike or not like. So, all these will always take particle ga. Uta ga jozu desu ne, uta ga kirai desu ne, uta ga suki desu ne, uta ga heta desu ne. You are not good at singing. You are good at singing. You are not good at singing. You do not like or you like. So, all these four will always take particle ga. Please remember that. And you have the meanings from the kaiva. You can go over the meanings. These are the questions. Go over the questions. And with that, most of your uh, revision is over. Whatever is left, we will cover that part of the revision in your um, kanji class, which is going to follow now. The next two classes are on kanji, dedicated to kanji, and we will do kanji, what kanji is and uh, what is the origin of kanji. And if something you want to know, you can talk on the forum and tell us and we can revise that. So, do this at home, practice all of it and we will meet again soon. Thank you very much.